guys. Riley is one today. Happy birthday, Riley! Yay! Uh, but she actually had her birthday party this past Sunday, and she got a lot, a lot of toys. I thought I would share with you the toys that I've got for her because I think they are really appropriate for a one-year-old, and you guys might get some ideas for if you're shopping for a one-year-old. So, let's start off with her presents from me and her daddy. Um, so what I consider to be Riley's main present, um, perhaps not what she considers to be her main present as far as what she's playing with, um, but my big present that I wanted to get for her was her first baby doll. Um, she has a few stuffed animals, but she does not have any baby dolls. Now she does. Um, and I picked out this really sweet Carole doll. I did keep the packaging for some of these things just so I could show you how it comes. So she just came propped up in this little box, which was nice for presentation. Um, although presentation doesn't mean anything to a one-year-old. So actually when I gave it to her, I had everything out of the packaging and I kind of set it up so she could just go straight to it and play with it. Um, I picked Kroll dolls mostly because I was familiar with them. My sister, um, her daughter, so my niece, had one of these. And I remember um, when I went to visit her, because they live in the US and I live in the UK, um, when I went to visit her when she was a year and a half old, she was very, very attached to this doll. Carole dolls have a, um, it's considered to be a vanilla scent, but they just have this like really sweet scent that is in the um, rubber or plastic that they're made out of. Um, and it's just a really sweet doll for a one year old. Um, this is a 12 inch doll or 30 centimeters and it is a soft bodied doll so only her hands feet and head are um this plasticky rubber material um so you would not bring her into the bath but this is about the size that they generally will recommend for a one-year-old and my reasoning for really wanting to get her a doll at this age is that she is in her eighth leap right now which is called the leap of programs so this is the time period that she is supposed to start showing that you know she wants to be like mom or be like daddy or any other people that she is around the most so she starts to do behaviors where she is acting out things that she sees us do on a regular basis um, so I really wanted to get her the doll because I really want to encourage a nurturing um, you know behavior in her um, I think she already has like a very nurturing personality. One of her favorite things to do is to feed me, my husband. Um, she loves to feed, well, my husband is her father, <laughs> just in case somebody wonders. Um, she loves to feed everybody. So I thought it would be really sweet if she could feed the little doll. Um, so I also got her a couple of other um, accessories kind of to go with the doll, bigger accessories. Um, so she got this high chair so like I said she could feed the doll um, this one is from a brand called Nor Toys I'm gonna link everything down below that I can find the links to but the links are gonna be for Amazon UK because I live in the UK um, if you live in the US you can just go to the link and then if you live in the US obviously like you can see what it's called to like do a search on amazon.com um, actually I didn't say much about the chair so this chair is from Nor Toys. I like it because it is wooden instead of plastic. She does have loads of plastic toys, but I do tend to prefer wood over plastic just because I think it looks prettier. Does she actually care? Probably not. But my reason for specifically picking this chair is because it is very similar to the high chair that she has and that she uses, which is the, um, is it Stokey or Stoke? Whatever, Trip Trap. She uses that high chair. And this looks very, very similar to that high chair. So I thought it would um, help her a lot in making the connection for what this is supposed to be used for. So in that same vein of thought of making sure that she knows what it is and how to use it, we also got her this little um, push chair, pram, umbrella stroller, whatever you want to call it. And um, her umbrella stroller is the McLaren, I believe it's the Quest. And this is a replica of the McLaren. So this is the McLaren um, Quest um, baby like toy stroller. And I really like this stroller. It actually folds up. 
if she wanted to go for a walk with us and she wanted to walk her dolly and then we would always bring the stroller with us because let's say she got tired halfway through right so we would put her in her stroller and this could get folded up and we could just easily carry it with us without having to like push this big thing so i thought that was really cool plus i just think like how cute is this so much cuter than like your standard pink toy push chair in my opinion i really like unisex toys um i don't like putting babies in like what i would consider to be like sexist like kind of things like <clears throat> This is already getting really long, so I need to hurry up. So, going along with uh, sexist toys, but once again, unisex, and boys love this toy just as much as girls um, from the reviews. I got this washing machine from the brand Cadson, and this is a little toy washing machine, but it's great because da -da -da -da, you can turn it on, and it makes little sounds, and it spins. <clears throat> So, um, and obviously you can like put like whatever you want into it for the spin cycle. If you don't want to do the sounds and you still want it to spin, like let's say you don't want to um, put batteries in it, it does actually have a little a crank thing that you can um, put to the back so you can hand crank it. Um, oh, and it has like a little drawer that opens. There we go. It has a little drawer that opens so they can pretend to put soap in it. Um, it came with a little basket and it also came with a little cardboard um, soap powder box, which I haven't given to her yet because she likes to suck on cardboard and she would ruin it. So I'll give it to her when she's a little bit older. But one of her favorite things right now is to wash the laundry machine and washing machine, sorry. <clears throat> so even though she likes to watch it a lot, like I don't like to let her play with it. So she gets really frustrated. Um, and the first time I had her playing with this, she was actually like putting the clothes in and out and she was getting a kick out of it. So I think she already made the connection because it looks so much like a real washing machine. Okay. So now moving on to presents from her very, very loving friends and family. We are so lucky and blessed, um, that so many people care about her. Um, so one of her favorite presents that she's gotten, baby's first birthday band from the brand Hallowit. Um, and these are just really great musical toys. Um, they're just really great quality. Um, they're really easy for her to hold and to use. Um, she's got a little shaker, a little maraca, she's got a little tambourine thingy. Um, I don't know what this is called. A noisemaker. And it's got this, um, this is called an ocean drum. It's got little beads in it. Um, and it also came with a musical CD. She loves this. She will pull these out and shake them, um, give them to me and her daddy for us to make music with. Um, so that was a really, really great present. Um, she also got a lot of these little wooden toys, which are really, really perfect for her age, of course. Um, <clears throat> she still loves to play with little toys. Um, got this little robot dude, this little boat, this little wormy thing. And she also got this little um, giraffe puzzle. Uh, and this is really age appropriate because this is the age that they're meant to be able to start putting together um, two to three piece puzzles. Obviously not every baby will, but it's the age where you know you can start looking out for that development. And Riley loves, loves puzzles. So um, these presents are great because obviously she already like will just pick them up and play with them and that's enough for her. So these are great because they're small. So I can chuck them in my bag if we're going out and they're like the perfect size to carry along. Um, if we're out and about, she just needs a little toy because I'm not gonna bring like these huge toys with me. <clears throat> so moving along, like I said, she loves, loves puzzles. Um, she got this really great um, counting stacker set from the brand Hape. Um, and one of the things that's really great about this is that the pegs that these um, little stacking things are on, they bend. So if your baby falls against it, they're not going to stab themselves. It's just going to bend down. So that's a really great safety precaution. Um, and Riley right away started stacking these on because she has a stacking pyramid and she has loved that for the past month or so. Um, 
so she knew what to do with these right away. She's not putting them in color order, but she is like she knows how to stack them and that is enough for her to have a ball. I love this toy though because as she gets older she will start you know she'll start color sorting it and then when she's figured that out like as she gets older um, it also goes by numbers so you've got one red two yellow three green four blue so she, you know it helps with like her learning to count um, so I just think this is a really great toy that will last quite a long time um, a lot longer than your standard stacking toy because I imagine that she'll get really tired of her pyramid toy I don't know how much longer of a life it has but let's say like the next couple months or so she might just like stop playing with it I have no idea but this will like last a lot longer because it's got more elements to it so that's really great um, she also got this really really cool pizza set that is wooden so she can make her own vegan pizzas <laughs> um, and it came with a little pizza cutter so this is one of those cutting toys where it's like velcroed together and she can switch it out and she can cut it um, so at one years old um, this is technically not a one-year-old friendly toy in the sense that these pieces the toppings for the pizza are really small and they will go in baby's mouth but I have given her the toy. All I've done is, is I don't let her play with the um, toppings. Um, so the toppings I've actually kept separate. They're just put away for the future, which is nice because it'll give the toy like new joy when she's older and ready to play with that part. Like it'll be like a whole new toy for her, right? But in the meantime, I let her play with it as a cheese pizza. Um, it goes in her little kitchen set, which I will. Actually, I'll just insert it right after this so you guys can see it since it goes along with what I'm talking about. But I keep this in the little oven and she constantly opens the door and like will grab a slice of pizza and like pretend to eat the pizza. She knows what she's doing. I'm telling you guys, she knows. When it comes to food, she is big on food. Um, but basically, every time I put this in the oven, it comes straight out. It will not stay in the oven. She always wants to play with it. So that is really, really cute. She also got this really great kitchen set. Um, this is from the brand Leyland. Um, the oven opens. There's a little cupboard down here that you can either use as a fridge or just like, you know, storage, whatever. It's got little shelves. I really liked this kitchen set specifically. It came with two chairs. I've got another one over there. Um, I like this kitchen set specifically because it had the um, desk space attached to it. It's considered a, um, a dine-in kitchen, so this is supposed to be a little kitchen table but um yeah all the little knobs turn the oven knobs actually click um the pans and these three um cooking utensils came with it so this came with it as well um the little faucet you can pretend to turn it on if you wanted to you could actually put some water in the faucet if you were daring enough um these knobs spin as well um, and one of the other things I really like about this kitchen particularly is it is relatively small so for Riley who is one years old she is at a really good height for this right now she's about like to here on it um, so she still has lots of room to grow and to play with it and I think she can play with this well into her toddler years but um, a lot of kitchen sets are much higher because they're made for bigger kids this is a much smaller one so staying on the vein of food, you guys just saw her kitchen. So I did ask for a lot of um, kind of like food related toys. Not a lot. I've got like two more to show you. <laughs> I exaggerate, but like to me, this is a lot of toys for a baby. Um, she got this really, really great. This might be my favorite toy that she got gifted. Um perhaps tied with the pizza just for selfish reasons because me and my husband are big pizza fans. We do pizza party Friday night every fight, blah, 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 every single Friday. Um, you know, just like the Sacone Jolies because I love watching them and they are the ones that got me started on pizza party Friday night. But anyway, um, this is from the brand New Sprouts. Doo, doo, doo. This is the box. Let me actually show this to you better. There you go. That's a better view. This is the box it came in. It also came with two little serving bowls and a serving spoon. Um, 
but this fruit is so well detailed um, and it's a really really great texture it's like a plastic um, I'm pretty sure it's BPA free I'm sure I saw that on there um, but it's like got a really it's like firm but it's got a little bit of soft give therefore she loves biting on them um, so she is constantly playing with these and teething on them um, but the fruit is just so well detailed so that's a little kiwi um, comes with some little strawberries got some blackberries and some oranges isn't that cute and it comes in this little watermelon bowl I absolutely love this um, obviously we love fruit in this house so we're a little bit crazy in the best way possible <laughs> so staying in the food realm um, she also got this um, vegetable cutting set do, do, do. so this is a wooden toy not plastic like the last one um, and we've got it's came with this little cutting board and then it also of course came with a knife and these are all velcroed together this is from the brand Leyland which is the same brand as her kitchen um, and what's great about these is they're also detailed on the inside so you got a little tomato um, there's some garlic what else do we got we got an onion like I said some of them are detailed on the inside so it's like an onion on the inside came with a carrot an aubergine or an eggplant a courgette or a zucchini and a green pepper so that is super super duper cute um, I'm almost done guys this is almost everything so she also got this really cute little house from leapfrog I put this on her wish list because I've seen quite a few um, mommy youtubers talk about and mention this as being a really popular toy for their babies um, starting around this age and actually it can go even younger than one years old so if you have like an eight month old or something they probably still love this um, maybe even just any time from sitting I don't know probably a baby, a baby at any age will probably love this honestly um, it makes lots of different noises um, it's got a little mirror you can turn you can turn the lights on. Can you tell that that just turned on? I'll turn it off. Um, there's just lots of different elements to this and like things that it does. The buttons will make different noises at different times, so it doesn't always do the same thing. Um, and this I thought was like a really great toy to kind of like, it's really great for traveling in the car. So if we're going someplace and it's going to be a bit of a longer car trip I can bring this with me and it does a lot of different things without taking up a huge amount of space so I wouldn't necessarily bring it on the go but it can kind of like semi live in the car if that makes sense semi live because I probably will keep it in the house as well but I'm not sure I might actually just have it stay in the car because she's got enough toys in the house we'll see what happens in the future um, she also got this pillow this is just like a random present uh, and it's funny because it's like one of those presents that when I got it, I was like, oh, that's an eyesore. I'm just being honest. Like, you know what I mean? Because like, I like her toys to be kind of like cutesy. And I mean, it is cutesy. She loves this thing. She loves it. Because when you press the button, it lights up. Oh my gosh, she has so much fun with this. Plus, she loves pillows. Like, she'll jump against them and like throw herself on them and laugh and giggle. Um, so actually, this is really, really perfect so um I have no idea where this came from but if you come across anything like this really great present for a one-year-old okay and lastly she got this um I just got a bunch of tub toys um, I'll show you the box because it'll be a little bit easier so it's just all these little um, bathtub toys and let me tell you she loves these new bathtub toys so much like this one you fill the frog up with water this thing spins around and then this rocks back and forth um, this little seahorse once again you know the water comes down and it spins and these have suckers on them so they can stick to the side of the um, bathtub 
And then it also just comes with like an assortment of like stacking cups that you can like, you know, you can stack them or you can put one inside of the other and they've got holes at the bottom so the water goes through. It comes with a couple of lightweight balls. Um, another stacking cup. Comes with a tiny little rubber ducky, which does have a hole in the bottom, so this is gonna have a short life because it's probably gonna get moldy on the inside and I'm not gonna want her playing with it anymore. Just keeping it real. Um, and a little whale that you can use to scoop and fill things up with water. Um, she loves this toy. She loves it so much that it's hard for me to bring her in the bathroom um, with me now because she will see these toys and start freaking out because she wants to play with them. Um, and when I just want to use the toilet, like, I don't want to have to stop and have her playing in the bathroom for, like, the next hour. She extra loves bath time now. She has always loved bath time, but she loves it even more now. Um, so those were all of Riley's toy presents. Um, she also got, obviously, like, lots of clothes and lots and lots of books, which are also perfect presents. Um, but I feel like it's not so necessary to show because, obviously, you will pick books and clothes based on your own preference. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys found this helpful in some way. I'm sorry that this is so long. Um, but of course, I can never just show something and keep it as simple as that, can I? I'm just really talkative. Sorry, guys. Um, but I hope somebody found this enjoyable and helpful. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys.